else. Uh, oh, I'll show you those panels that were on the side. Got them here. So these are the originals that are in the panel. Uh, so you get the idea. It's going to go around the door. This is obviously the bottom edge. This is the front edge. This one's completely wrecked. Um, the other side. Oops, sorry. An interesting detail when it comes to the footwell end of it. So this would be the front edge of the door, that's the base. It's split in two and then these brackets, angle brackets, that one's not angled, it's flat. And then these are very clearly bent. And the idea I'm assured by Richard is that uh, it creates a bit more foot room um, for the pedals. So it just gives you a bit more room down for your feet. So I will replicate that. Uh, I've got the material, new material. I'm going to buy some more board. This is hard board. You can see how knackered it's got from being wet. Um, I'm going to replace it with the same because I'm not likely to let it get as wet. Um, and it should be fine. These look as though they're pop riveted in. Um, these use some sort of pin with little twist out bits. So these are definitely pop rivets. And this is stapled, you can see it's stapled onto the back. Yeah, so get some more material for that tomorrow, hopefully. I've cut the um, hardboard now to fit. Um, I'll just pull this one out and show you the detail. You can see it's at a strange angle down there because it's not fixed in yet. But that's the effect of those um, metal brackets. I'll just pull it out and show you that. There are a couple of notches on this one, by the way. This is the passenger side one. Um, so that it can sit down and clear the cables, electrical cables, and the, um, the seatbelt mount as well. So here's that um, out of the car now. So you can see, and the, there's the brackets. Uh, so these three brackets, these two pop rivet on with quite large pop rivets and then this flat one um, had these little pins with little tongues that fold out. Um, I've managed to reuse some of them but this one failed so nut and bolt fits in that place. And you can see the effect of those angle brackets is to um, force it into an angle so it sort of tries to be flat at this side or this edge and then uh, yeah puts a big V shape into it. I'll just put one back in the car and show you the effect in the car. Here's the driver's side one. Um, it doesn't need this notch on that side for the electrics but it was cut on both so I ended up putting it there. Probably need a sleeve. Um, but as you go down to the footwell, just stick some light up there. You can see the angle. Um, pushes that right out. So there are little metal plates. You can see one just here that the um, trim screws onto. So you put a screw through it and it holds it back. Um, so I'll push it back just so you can see. So that's pushed back fully. There's a gap here. So it must have been how it was. Um, and it isn't screwed at the bottom there, but you can see that it just creates a bit more room for your foot on the accelerator on this right-hand drive car. Um, so yeah, although I'm sure when the vinyl's on it stretches across here so you don't see that V shape. slightly odd but that's how it is. On the framework you'll see these are the metal tags um, where the screws go through. There's one up here I'm pretty certain wasn't used so there are tags on there um, that haven't been used for some of them and I can show you on the original 
part here you can see where the holes were so these two were used in that bottom corner um, but yeah if you line it up with all the tags that are in there they're definitely not all used um, for example there's a tag up here this side just then there's no hole in the original there's one at this side so I'm going to position the parts in the car mark them up and drill for those mounting points now these are a couple of bits of aluminium trim which um, fit over the door entrance or the bottom of the door opening um, and just discovering that the holes in these line up with the tags on the framework so same holes uh, go through these and the trim to hold it in place um, these are handed so if I put those in the same direction you'll see that that centre hole is in a different place um, so they are handed um, to line up with the metal tags and this hooks over um, so it just hooks over like that this one so you can see oh I'll just refocus that so yeah it hooks over you see these aluminium pieces have a pattern um, embossed into them on the surface on the other side. So I'll have a go at cleaning these up. I'm pretty sure they're not something that's going to be readily available. I've uh, drilled and fixed the panel on that side um, and I've fitted the aluminium trim as well because the three of the fixing holes go through that. It appears that uh, that panel curves in slightly um, when you screw it back to the tag. So just a bit more clearance for the seat I guess. The uh, Between the hardboard and the plastic coatings this very thin uh, material which obviously just gave it some padding so I'm going to do something similar but not use materials on the inside of these. I'm going to glue this very thin um, foam material which I think is closed cell so shouldn't soak up moisture like the uh, fibre, the, the cloth one might have done. So we'll see how I get on with that. The new uh, material for the side panels it's sort of cloth behind and PVC and the pattern is um, um, well supposed to be like the original it's pretty good um, this is from Newton Commercial and I've just started to glue some onto one of the side panels so I'm using a spray contact adhesive um, on the back edge and just snipping around the corners to... Uh, so I've got this glued on so I'll try fitting it to the car next I was a little bit concerned about uh, whether these fixings around this point will be seen but when it stretches out um, I think they might disappear so give it a go so I've got the side trim pieces fixed in um, I'm happy with them and this bit of metal trim um, hooks over the bottom edge of the door um, I need to clean these up yet but you can make to see the three screws that uh, will pick up on the three holes in that aluminium trim. So it's done on both sides and you can see that um, it does appear to give a bit more clearance. Well, up here it does give a bit more clearance on the accelerator pedal um, the way that is shaped in. Um, it does have a gap at the top and that is caused by the little pads um, that you screw into so it must be correct um, it's never moved from the original so yeah quite pleased with that uh, 
Okay, um, next step I think is to put the dashboard in. So next video will be on that. Um, hope you found this one useful as well. Bye.